Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to WillieHow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. What we're going to talk about tonight happens to be wrapped up in this bubble wrap. No, uh, whatever you're guessing it is, it may not be. Of course, if you saw the title of the video, you know exactly what it is. So they actually did a really good job <laughs> shipping it uh, in this. And I actually ordered a pair. I bought these myself, full disclosure. Microtik did not supply these. And this is the Microtik S Plus RJ10. And this is a copper SFP Plus interface. And you're probably thinking to yourself, well, Willie, I've seen a lot of copper SFP Plus interfaces. What's so special about the Microtik copper SFP interface. Well, this can actually do six speeds. So if you have 10 meg, 100 meg, gigabit, 2.5 gigabit, 5 gigabit, or 10 gigabit uplinks you need, this can negotiate. This module does all of the heavy lifting. Uh, they're around $70 USD and um, I haven't had them in a switch that didn't recognize them yet. Although I did have something a little funny happen with a Unify switch, and we'll talk about that here shortly. So you can see, I mean, it's a really nice uh, format. It doesn't get much, I mean, all of these copper SFPs about look, look the same. Um, so uh, let's pull up the data sheet here real quick. And uh, this is right on the Microtik site. I'll leave... Uh, a link to this down below, but you can see the six speeds that it negotiates. It will go up to 200 meters. It is obviously not weatherproof. Suggested retail price is around $65, and um, I think I paid right around that. I'll leave uh, some affiliate links for this down below. It does have some flash storage and things like that. There is a nifty uh, sales brochure and some, oh, there's a compatibility list. I did not see that before. So typically uh, Microtik is going to tell you to probably only run these in Microtik switches. So this is the compatibility list and you could take a look at it. They've got the uh, modules across the top and all that good stuff. I'm going to show you real world here. So how am I using this? How could you use this? So if you had, let's say, you have a, a switch, you know, run into some devices um, and you want to uplink, let's say, this QNAP 2.5 gig switch. Well, it doesn't have SFPs, but it does have copper uh, 2.5 gig ports. So you've got a switch that has an SFP plus. So you take this, you plug it into the switch. It's probably going to work. And then you uplink this and now you have a 2.5 gig uplink. Also works on 5 gig. I did test it with a Cambium switch with a 5 gig uplink and it worked just fine. So let's take a look at how I have these set up. So I have my UDM Pro site, but I've got my uh, Layer 3 uh, Unify Switch Pro switch. And I have it in port 25. And you can see that it recognizes that Microtik is the vendor. It recognizes the part number and the whole bit. Here's where things get weird. When I first plug this in to the Unify switch, and I, uh, I'm going to be doing a, a rack video, but I have the uh, Unify Switch Pro in the bottom. I have a UNVR 4 bay above that. And then I've got several other manufacturer switches, including this TP link that is on the other side of this module. Well, when I plug this module in, the Unify switch went dark. Everything that was PoE powered went dark. And everything that had an uplink connection to the Unify switch rebooted. I can't explain it. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it caused a power condition or what, but the only way for me to get this Unify switch back was to unplug the power, wait about 10 seconds, plug it back in, and then everything normalized. Now, on the Unify side, you can see that it believes that it is negotiated at 10 gigabit. Um, and we actually get quite a bit of information about this SFP Plus. Sometimes with the Ubiquiti stuff, you won't get this much information because it's unsupported, right? But here we get the, the whole gamut. Um, the output power, input power, temperature, uh, current, voltage, compliance, the whole bit. 
All right, so move over to, this is a TP-Link um, TLSG 3210 XHPM2 that you're gonna see a video on, but I have it uplinked to port number one, and you can see here that since this has a 2.5 gig port, it is reporting 2.5 gig full duplex with the link up. Yes, the TP-Link switch has 10 gig SFP plus ports, but I wanted to make sure that this works. And if I use the QNAP switch, it does the same thing. So if you're looking for the ultimate flexibility in an SFP plus uh, module, this, this MicroTik can provide all of that, whether it's 10, 100 meg, gigabit, 2.5, 5 gigabit, or 10 gigabit, this module can do it. So if you've got any questions about it, there really is no configuration options on the equipment that I plugged it into. I do believe if you plug this into a micro tick, which we'll have to test, I'll have to dig, dig some, or actually, actually got the switch in there. You can do some light configuration on this. I think I haven't done that yet. Um, I was just so excited to have a multi-speed uh, SFP plus module. Uh, that I haven't tested with MicroTik yet, but it does work with Ubiquiti. I, it's probably gonna work with my Cisco switches, the Juniper switches, uh, the QNAP switches. We're gonna test the switches. Uh, I'll do a video where we just plug these into different switches and see what works. So if you got any questions, if it's too in-depth, I might have to refer you somewhere else at, the, at this moment, because like I said, I haven't plugged it into MicroTik, but that is coming. So, but regardless, if you have questions, leave those in the comments below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. If you'd like to buy one of these MicroTik SFP Plus modules multi-speed, I will leave it down below. I'll leave an affiliate link. If you'd like to support the channel by using our Patreon or affiliate links, they are all down below. Don't feel pressure to do that. It is appreciated. It doesn't change your price, but it does kick a couple bucks to the channel. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.